Rob, Heather, good evening. And as you know, President Trump is still banned from most major social media platforms. He's circumventing that with the office of the former president, where he is announcing his future activities. And one of his first moves since leaving office is meeting with House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. The two of them discuss the future of the GOP. Leader McCarthy visited Mar-a-Lago to affirm his relationship with the former president. Mr. Trump is said to be focusing a lot of his attention on Liz Cheney, the third-ranking House Republican who voted to impeach him earlier this month. According to sources close to President Trump, he's repeatedly questioning Republicans about their efforts to remove Cheney from leadership and primary her in Wyoming. The former president's ally, Florida Congressman Matt Gates, has been leading that effort, even making a trip to Cheyenne this week. I think if Liz Cheney had a rally with all of her supporters, they could likely meet inside one of the elevators in the Capitol and still have plenty of room for social distancing. The truth is that the establishment in both political parties have teamed up to screw our fellow Americans for generations. Populist Republicans want to move away from the old guard of the GOP, which includes Liz Cheney and her father, former Vice President Dick Cheney. And former President Trump is making it clear that he's not considering the creation of a third party. His Save America PAC released a statement saying, quote, President Trump has agreed to work with Leader McCarthy on helping the Republican Party to become a majority in the House. After all, he did write the book, The Art of the Comeback, and it looks like he's making one right now. And obviously, McCarthy and Trump, they talked about the future of the Republican Party in 2022. But the question is, what will Donald Trump do himself in 2024? Will he run again? He's still the most popular figure in the party, and his ideas are still a big part of the conversation. Back to you. Yeah, but they've been very uh, smart and very close throughout this uh, this time. Uh, Kevin McCarthy, I think he's somebody that wants to be Speaker of the House in 2022. So it's important to him that he keeps that relationship uh, with the president really close uh, between now and then, Logan. Absolutely. And we do know that the president has also been invited to speak at the Republican National Com uh, Committee donors event in the spring. That's actually in Palm Beach, Florida, where the president lives. So he has not accepted that invitation yet, but he will likely be there. So that will, again, add him back into the conversation if he decides to do so. And obviously a lot of events coming up like CPAC in February. So we'll see what he does. Yeah, he also has what the Save America PAC, uh, which is raising money. And given this conversation that he just had with McCarthy, it would one would think that maybe some of the money and they can raise large amounts of it, they've proven, would go maybe towards some of these candidates to try and, and allow the Republicans to win back the House. Absolutely. And as you heard in that report, too, uh, a big focus for President Trump here is on Wyoming. That is an at-large district. So Liz Cheney represents the entire state. And obviously, they're looking to primary her and possibly remove her from leadership. So that is something that the president, former President Donald Trump, is discussing behind the scenes. So, Logan, safe to think, yeah. uh, safe to assume that President Trump's not just going to fade off into the sunset. Uh, he is going to be very much active in Republican politics for the next four years, possibly leading up to a potential run four years from now. I actually spoke with one of his senior advisors who told me that he is unquestionably the leader of the party. A political analyst told me that he's a force to be reckoned with if he runs. There's basically no way to beat him in a primary. So uh, right now he is the odds on favorite if he were to run to win the nomination. But the question is, does he want to do that at 78 years old? Mm. Obviously, he's taking slings and arrows. He took it in office, but it's still continuing now. So nothing will really change, I don't think, in that sense, whether he decides to run again or not. You know, and then there are rumors that perhaps he isn't the only Trump that we could see uh, seeking political office because there's been a lot of conversation about Ivanka. Did you hear anything on that front in terms of uh, her running in Florida specifically? Well, obviously, we've heard that rumor that she's thinking about running for yeah. Senate against Marco Rubio. I haven't right. heard too much about that, but I did ask an advisor of President Trump, do you think that Donald Trump will run again, or will he pass the mantle off to Donald Trump Jr.? That's Ooh. another person we've heard hmm. um, in the discussion. The advisor told me he could not comment on that. So <laughs> it leads you to believe whether it's Donald Trump Sr., Donald Trump Jr., um, one of those two gentlemen will likely be the future of the GOP. That's what it seems so far. Yeah. I actually put my own poll on Twitter, guys, and the second person that people wanted to see 